Hi, it's John Coast Mace R and D. Today we have a little Mercedes V6 crankshaft on the balancer. And we're just going to be checking this for balance for the customer. You'd like to know if it's in balance or not. It's out of a brand new engine, so we're just going to give it a check. I'm going to show you how that's done. Alright, I've taken and inserted all the uh, critical dimensions here into the computer, but let's take a look at what we got. We got a piston weight of 365 grams. Our locks are 2 grams each, or 2 grams for the pair, rather. Uh, we got piston rings at 26.6 grams. Piston pin weighs 102.4. The big end of the rod is 369.9. The small end is 122 even. The insert is 46.8 grams. We're going to add 6 grams for oil. And we have one throw per cylinder. And we have one throw on the rods. We're going to balance at 50%, and that gives us a bob weight of 731.7 gram, 731 grams. All right, we've got one of our bob weights set on the scale, and as you can see, we're at 731 grams. Uh, we can go plus or minus a half a gram on this, and we're going to be okay. And we'll go ahead and set the rest of the bob weights up, and then we'll go ahead and attach them to the crankshaft. All right, well, we've attached all the bob weights to the crankshaft. And now we're going to go ahead and spin it up. We've input all the information as far as the location of the weights and the diameter of the crank and the length and everything. So let's go ahead and start this up. It'll run up to about 500 RPM and if it's real happy then it'll go right on up to around 700 and some. A look at things and once it's had a good look it will start to measure and what we can see here is that we need to add 13 grams to one end and 13 and a half grams to the other now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the crankshaft around until we get to this corresponding number, which is 51 and a half for the left side. So that tells me that if I was going to make a correction on this, I would do it right here. On the other side, I'm looking at 20. And we'd be making a correction right about right here. Anyway, that's how you check a crankshaft for balance to see if it, in fact, does need to be balanced and to check it for accuracy. If you have any more questions about balancing, give me a call here at Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.